Hi, this is Karan. I'm a final year student research. Today, I would like to know about research internships. What is a research internship? How to grab a research internship? What are the benefits of a research internship? Let's start with the term internship. Internship is a semi-job or an opportunity for someone to work in a company or lab. Everyone is so confused what exactly is a research internship. A research internship is an internship where you spend a term in a particular laboratory under a supervisor who is definitely a professor or an industrial mentor. So let's look how you grab a research internship. Two forms of research internships. Number one, MOU oriented. Number two, non-MOU oriented. So when it comes to MOU oriented, your college or any university definitely will have some sort of collaboration with other institutes where you have an opportunity to spend some time in their university under a particular professor to work on a research project. You complete a project and you come back and it, it can be adopted as a final year project or a credit oriented project. So MOU related internship opportunities can be known from your college website or the international dean of files. MOU related uh, internship, research internships are very easier to grab when it comes to non-MOU internship opportunities. When it comes to non-MOU oriented research internship opportunities, you apply to another university with no means of communication from your college. So you look into the sort of programs what that university which you are looking into offers and you look for the professors, you look for your research projects, whatever you want to work under them and then you apply. There are two forms again, Indian, International. When it comes to Indian universities, institutes like IIT, Singh offers you a program. So you need to have a look into their websites look for the programs for example if you're looking into computer science go to their uh, department look for the laboratories out there tap on each laboratory look for the internship opportunities it can be named as research assistant as project managers in those cases when you get when you find an opportunity they'll give you the proper instruction generally IITs offer two to three months of internship even IISC offer TIFR on offers Tata Institute of Fundamental Research even BARC offers, ISER offers, but the competition when you compare with non-MOU oriented internship opportunities and MOU oriented research internship opportunities, in MOU you will definitely have an edge to get into the internship directly. We will provide the names of institutes which provide uh, the opportunities, a description of the video. And when it comes to international uh, research internship, this is a similar strategy which you are supposed to apply uh, as you are applying for Indian institutes. There are many universities out there which offers uh, these internship opportunities, international internship opportunities. When it comes to America, you find USC, even HAV offers an uh, internship program, USC offers an internship program. When it comes to Europe, you will find uh, internship opportunities at Switzerland, CERN offers open lab program and Austria offers IST that's called Easternship and when it when you come to Asia countries like China, Taiwan, Singapore, Bangkok offering internships. So to share I mean, how I proceeded to apply I'll be letting you know in uh, a couple of moments. So the, the only thing is you need to look look for their websites, look into their uh, you know disciplines, look into the laboratories that is what is required when you come to international oriented non MOU internship or research internship opportunities. In my case, I have applied to NTU, Nanyan Technological University. This is located in Singapore and this is this stands 11th in the world and first in Asia. This offers research internship programs to Indians even Europeans, for everyone basically. But there is a particular program called India Connect, which is exclusively for Indian students. So you have some sort of more chances to go directly because you will not face the competition from other parts of the world. So when, when it comes to this program, I applied to this program 
and uh, this offers three batches all around the year. So batch one is a long term internship, batch three is also a long term internship, batch two is a short term internship. Long term in the sense you will be having a five month or six month period. So in a short term it could be like two to three months of time. So this is about uh, the India Connect 3 batch programs. Each batch has a stipulated deadline. You need to look into the website for the latest deadlines and apply accordingly. So what all are required when you apply for a research internship? Good academic CGPA. Second one is good C. Third one is good LORs. And fourth one is a good letter of intent. These are the four basic things, maybe these are the only four things which they'll be looking into to consider you as a prospective candidate for the term, whatever you're going to spend in that particular university under that particular professor. Okay, let me uh, go step by step uh, with CGPA, uh, I need not explain about it, it's self-explanatory. And when it comes to good CV, we must definitely include good projects. It might be your course projects, it might be your personal project, it might be your micro projects, it might be your major projects, it might be your mini projects, whatever it is. So that is required because they will be looking into what works you have prior done before coming there. Internships also, at least you know, summer internships or winter internships, some sort of experience where you work outside college. And the third one is some extracurriculars, at least you know, at four to five physical activities or musical activities or some sort of opportunities where you get you know get to lead a couple of people or four or five members so those opportunities can also be mentioned in your CV which is very helpful these three things under a good CV the third criteria is LORs so best way to get is you know known professors you know HODs or your mentors in other internships. Uh, it again depends on the university. Few universities offer ask for two recommendation letters. Other in other universities offer for three recommendation letters. So it all depends on the university. The university to which I applied asked for two recommendation letters. And the fourth one is letter of intent is basically statement of purpose. Why you are a prospective candidate for that particular term period in that particular university and with that particular professor can be stated in letter of intent. Some sort of extra mile you need to look into the professor's website or professor's projects and you can align how your experience or your skill set matches with professor's uh, relevant pro projects. So that is where you are supposed to do some research before you start writing up your letter of intent. No objection certificate. This is this will be given by the home university. That means you you the, the college where you are studying, saying that they don't have any objection for this candidate to go and uh, spend a semester for doing the project under that particular professor. So when you apply, they will be evaluating your profile carefully. After evaluation, you will be receiving a confirmation mail. Fingers crossed. If you, if you get a confirmation file, uh, mail, you will be having letter of admission inside that. Letter of admission states whatever, you know, the next procedure, what to do. Few universities offer stipend, few universities do not offer stipend. So, if you have stipend eligible or you are, you are, if, they are, if you are eligible for accommodation, it will be stated in the letter of admission. So, you need not worry about it. So just make sure your application is crafted properly and you apply properly. Make sure about the deadlines because when I applied it was the last day and in my last hour. So there was some sort of uh, server issues as well. I was tense but luckily it got sorted and I applied and I got selected. So this is how it is. Be, make sure about the deadlines and make sure about your application is crafted well. In my case, I applied for batch 3 for Indi India Connect. Uh, we will make sure that the links for the internship program which I applied for will be provided in the description below. Thank you. And for further queries, you can comment down and subscribe the channel as well. Stay safe, stay healthy.